Hi everybody. Me. Oh, Hi. Dan McCready's here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so we're gonna be. Uh, things will get cooking. Or <laughs> eventually, in about ten minutes, I'm gonna introduce everybody and then uh, explain what's going on tonight. And. Uh, oh, and I'd like to say hello to all our WATD listeners. Screwed all the way down. Can you got right there? I feel. I feel fine there. We got a packed house here. Well, no, actually, we don't have a packed house. We're observing the governor's protocols. Nope. So, um, we've got a packed house. We're supposed to virtual. We know the other court first. Oh, my God. The other court was on there? Yeah. Two of the court. Just relax. Smash it or a whiskey. I left the court screw on the court. Oh my god. Oh, wow. right. Now I know why it didn't work. Steven Cole right over there. The yes, yes. <laughs> He's got I thought that's how they did really it. got Salt some tacos for us. It's going to be muy bien excelente. <laughs> that's for our bilingual <laughs> audience. Oh, what would you, how would you say it in France, Steph? What? Uh, very good, thanks. Uh, très bien. Très bien. <laughs> the tacos will be très bien. Right, there you go. I'll take this out. Right. Thank you. <laughs> for and boy, BN. Does anybody know Swahili? <laughs> no. Klingon? No. Oh, uh, Rob Hackle is not here. Yeah, if we have Rob, he could stalk in Klingon. Because I'm guessing there's a fluent Klingon speaker watching this at somewhere. It's the internet. Possibly. Yeah, I mean, it is the internet. I'm just saying. It's always a possibility. All right. All right, what are we at now? Ten of? Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. So we're hosting a um, on WATD's live mm -hmm. Facebook page. Thank this you is, once again, Mariel, yep. by the way. Yes, Mariel, our web uh, master, Mariel Reed. And uh, she uh, set this all up on her, on our Facebook. So Chef Coe's here, Zachary, they're going to be cooking. They're just prepping right now. They're cooking uh, steak tacos and with some jasmine rice and um, I think some well, all the ingredients to the tacos as well but uh, he'll, he'll explain what they're going to be doing well here we are on uh, WATD's Facebook page at my house we're cooking tonight with chef Stephen Coe I met Stephen because uh, he was doing a show yeah we have a live audience here today so um, it was a Saturday, I was an anchor, and I saw um, some information on what he was doing. I called him within an hour, he called me back, I had his voice on recorded, and then I uh, used it for a story at noon. Yes. And it was great, and then we followed him from there to his winnings, then Chris, my boss Christine James did a big interview with him after that, and now we're doing this. And we're raising money for the, um, the uh, Magical Moon Foundation, it's in Marshfield, seven... 747 summer? 575. 575 summer. All right. And um, Dawn, this is Donna Green. She's been doing it a long time. Can you tell us what you do at Magical Moon Foundation? Um, well, I've been doing it for about 26 years. And we um, bring children in who have cancer or other life threatening conditions. And uh, we just make them feel safer and stronger and, and give them an environment that they can thrive. Uh, has the COVID-19 pandemic, has it hurt you financially and how? <laughs> um, all of our funding um, from the state stopped. Our main groups uh, stopped except for uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield um, and a lot of our help. So we have maybe 40 to 70 people a week to help us and it's come down to only two or three of us. And, uh, per week, down to two or three. Working the farm. It's a five-acre organic yeah. farm. I mean, it's all labor. It's all, it's all labor. Labor, labor yeah. intensive. So, and plus, uh, we are, are taking, still taking new children on um, who need a lot of uh, attention. Uh, are the volunteers coming back? Oh, yes. Yeah. So the volunteers are always coming back, but in this um, particular situation, we, we can't have everybody there yeah. the way we yeah. used to. It's okay. not just not safe. And then tell me about your Halloween event. Uh, the following week on October 3rd, it is um, an all-day uh, music event. It's our celebration of the, the summer and the support everybody has given us. Uh, so we're having a Harvest Moon Festival all day. And then in the evening at sunset, we have uh, six new children that will be knighted in a knighting ceremony in the barn. And then after that, we have a Masco Reed. Um, fairy tale adventure for all the children to go um, trick-or-treating safely. 
What does the nighting mean? That's incredible. What uh, does the nighting a child, mean? when they come to us, is uh, usually dealing with something very difficult, uh, a life-threatening condition, a disease, and uh, we honor them, honor their bravery. Instead of giving balloons, we give swords, and they become knights. So awesome. And that is, that uh, is awesome. Medallions <laughs> of courage and real swords, and uh, a lot of times they'll take on a mission to change the world in honor oh, of what wow. they're going through. That's great. So now I met you because mm -hmm. I met this guy, and so he had some. He had something to do with you. So uh, Chef, why don't you come over here and talk to Dawn? Right. Tell, tell us how you met her and how, how that all worked out, how that all intertwined. So I met her. Someone reached out to her, uh, a liaison of ours. Oh, a couple people it came up on feet a lot when I came into Marshfield. I wanted to see who get into the community and help out and things like that. In the I know big into farming and stuff like that. Um, in artistry. And it came up, and I'm like, I reached out to her one day. We connected. I went over there. Right as I walked onto the property, I was like, yes, 100. Like percent <laughs> I'm like, doesn't matter what else goes on. I saw the wall being built mm -hmm. of the wine, the wine bottles, the little fairy houses, and the, yeah. the big butterfly, yeah. and the like, solar this, panels. This is and, awesome. Yeah. It's like surreal. It, it doesn't yeah. end. It, please yeah. don't like you. It doesn't end. You know? Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, I, I like <laughs> the other side of life. I walk in like I'm culinary Kevlar, like I said. Like That's just funny, destroy yeah. it as a room. I walk in there, I'm like, this is We hit it up. You know, I'm like, this instantly. place is awesome. Yeah, Our I know. Is very much yeah, like, the spiral yeah. staircase going to wherever you want it to go. It just said, like, walking you know, through there, but my, my wife and I walked through there, it was like a calming effect, you know, yeah. like really calm. And there was a woman that pulled up before us that just brought her little girl, and they just walked through, you know, yep. just before us. So, um, so now we're trying to raise money tonight for this cause to help with uh, children with serious illness, cancer, Thank you. and uh, we're going to cook with. This is my son Zachary. Yes. He's next, so this Chef is my. Chef Zach. This is the yes, <laughs> Chef Zach. Yes. Chef is uh, Chef Zach. Chef Zach is awesome. <laughs> he. He's in 10th grade. He's my smartest child by far. Was he and he through here? this COVID <laughs> thing, he has just picked up on cooking. He really likes to cook. He's been researching it and like you know. Cooking for us every night, literally every night. Last night he made some steak, and he makes fun of me because I don't like it um, uh, raw, or medium raw, he calls it, whatever it, what do you call that? Medium raw. All right. Tell, tell us more about why you got into, into cooking. When everything shut down, I had nothing to do really, because like soccer got canceled and stuff. Look at the phone. And all the restaurants were closed, so if I wanted to eat good food, I had to cook it myself. <laughs> And you know, you, 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 during our interview the other day, you said like you only used to cook ramen. That's a far cry from ramen now. Yeah. I mean, he's doing what he's been ramen. doing. Yeah. yeah, you should see what he's doing. Steak it's ramen. incredible. I yeah. just microwave, so good for him. <laughs> All right, well, they're going to start um, preparing now. We're cooking steak tacos tonight. We're going to show you the process. Maybe I'm thinking uh, maybe Chef Cole will make his. Zach, Zach will make his own. He'll do it maybe separately if that's possible. And then at the end, we'll see who did the best steak tacos. I think I might do a collaboration. If oh. easier. I right. want him to do, take the lead. Yeah. And I'll just follow. Okay. Oh. And I'll, right? I like that. All right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, right? It was just that, an idea. I mean, I mean I'll throw yeah. curveballs in there at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. It's not going to be a smooth road. Okay. Well, let's start it out. So what do you want to get started with first? Uh, the rice. All right. Let's get started with rice. If you're going to do rice... It. Yeah, uh, I like the starch content. A lot of people rinse it off, but I'm a big fan of a little bit of the starchy left in there because it builds it, it, it coats that seed or it coats the grain. Okay. All right, do you like garlic? Yeah, okay, let's get some garlic. Maybe a little, I didn't say throw the garlic at me. <laughs> Do the prep work and you can do the cooking. How's that sound? Great. Does that work? Yeah. Right. Have you played around with garlic before? Yeah. All right. Well, you show me how you do the garlic, then I'll get it started. All right? Take my knife and I just cut it down and then it comes out and then cut off. There's eight now, okay? And then you just go like that. There you go. A little push action, right? And you peel it and then it's like without the skin. Uh, do you like a lot of garlic? I like garlic. Oh yeah, so let's put like four in there. Because right. as you cook it, it's not as crazy. Now why do you push it down? Uh, to crack the like skin, I don't know what it's called. Okay. Let's get that off to the side so it doesn't get caught up in there. Is that right to crush it down? It is. And there's another way I'll show you in a second too. 
So you crush it, it's easier to pop off the skin. Mm -hmm. But then there's a way, can I borrow your knife? Yeah. Thank you. To mince it instead of dicing it like people do like this. You can mash it like this. See how you rock the knife? See, it almost makes it a paste. But then you watch out that your hand is here. Because if the knife can see your hand, the knife's going to take your hand. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with your finger. The finger trick where you could go like, you could close your eyes and things like that. And you won't cut yourself because you know where your fingers are. Right? That's what I'm going to do at the uh, Talk and Information Center. I'm going to, I'm going to cook my eye blindfolded. Right? Okay. Cook it in the oh, dark. Oh, right? Sure. Because that's I think it's right there, right? Oh, that's worth the donation. That, that's another one, right? Exactly. <laughs> totally. I'm like, I want to see how I can relate on their end to see what they're like. Awesome. Everybody sees all they go through, and I let's really? talk to my team. And my team's I'm like number. all about sabotaging me on the, on the regular basis. <laughs> so, like, yes, shut the lights off, blindfold them, maybe throw a punch at them when he's coming. <laughs> you know? You want to give that a shot? Just be careful, like I said. You can't, you're just above the knife, and you do the. Just a, like a little bit of a rock in there, that's in it. You yeah. kind of like scrape in that with the edge of the knife, right? Sometimes the garlic doesn't play nice with you, but you know, that's why you have a sharp edge, you at least take it out. Get this case out of the way. It's nice and warm. Cool, that works. I mean, then go to run your knife through it too, just to make sure there's no out of there. Unless you like skin. Fisher's trick. Alright. Don't pull. Push. Get that out of the way. Alright. And the trick on the knife. Right. Stuff. Put your fingers in. See my fingers? It's about it. If you see your tips, you lose your tips. Alright? So you pull the tips in. And don't bring the knife higher than your knuckles or you lose your knuckles. Alright? It's all these little tricks that people and you just rock. Get in the motion and you see that? You rock that like that. And you'll, eventually you'll get that. You don't have to go crazy. We're not taking out like a, yeah, like right here. Let me see. Get get comfortable with it. Right? Like you're hanging you're hanging out with a sword from it. I totally want a sword. Right? I, I like I want to. I'll rock out anything. I, I told him. You said you said swords. I'm like yes. <laughs> nope. See so you go. Let's throw it around. Let's get that garlic. Put it around that one. Nice little sizzle on there. We're gonna do the. You do the French spoon? Sure. Let's do it. Let's get all that garlic. It's not waste any of that garlic. There you go. Let's watch out. You don't hit yourself with that knife coming across. Yeah. Oh, now you're doing all righty. Well, you're all righty for it. <laughs> Alright, see how it's starting to get a little golden brown in there? Yes. That's where you, almost where you want. You gotta get the rice. Two cups this second. Yeah, let's go fill that up. What's your favorite rice? Um, Depends what I'm doing. Let's go all the way. Do this. Right to the top. Uh, for this one, it worked right. Uh, basmati, jasmine. It all depends what we're doing with it at the end of the day. Today we're playing around with something like this and we did a sushi rice and added Spanish flavors to it. Mm -hmm. just, just because, because we, we can. <laughs> we're gonna let the rice toast for a second just to kind of bring out the natural flavors of that grain. So that's doing its thing. What else do you want to make? Uh, Does it make some pico? Let's do it. You want a dice almost to just half the size of what your spoon would be. Yeah. That makes sense? So almost like what you think of what a salsa would be. Yeah. It's a little bit, you get a little bit of the tomato, then what are the other ingredients, but it's not too big that you're like, uh, it doesn't fit on my, my little tortilla or... <clears throat> Always clear your board to eat stuff out of your way so you have room to play with. Hang on. Oh, I'll slide these into here. I forget how you do it. On the computer, it's much easier then. Yeah. Do you like spice? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they're going to eat it. It's not up to them. You're the chef, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't like it? Don't eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one. Fresh jalapenos aren't that bad. They get a little sting, but they go only like 10 minutes, you know? So what, are we, what are we making again? Steak tacos. 
This is Zach Cedroni, 10th grade at Duxbury High. Bit, so you talk to these guys. Tell me what's up. Yep, Chef Steve uh, Coe. Who, who are we here with, Zachary? Uh, Chef Coe. Yep. <laughs> I'm just hanging out. What are we making? I like tacos. What That's are we making, Zachary? Steak tacos. Yeah. Okay, how do you make them? What are you making right now? Pico de gallo. What's pico? Uh, like salsa. Okay. It's like a freestyle salsa. Like a real salsa. Yeah. What's the other word? Pico what? Pico de gallo. Yeah, yeah. What's the gallo? What is that? It's delicious. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and is that a tap? What is that? It's like fresh salsa. Oh, all right. Tomato, cilantro, lime. Oh, that's why I got the cilantro. Jalapenos. Yes. Yep. He said, get extra cilantro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's Johnny Cilantro, by the yeah, way. There we go. We're going to yeah. go with Johnny Cilantro. That's your tag now. It is. Right. We're probably good. Right. Yeah, let's yeah. roll in to. So, on the east, before you. There you go. Roll that. Get into that. Really? Zach knew how to roll it. Tom, huh? why are you rolling? Tom, why are you rolling? Tom, why are you rolling? Tom? Yeah. Tom left. Who's making your mix shirts? Um, it helps the moisture. Oh, you know what's going on? I mean, Steve. Sorry, Sorry I went with Tom. Zach, where did you learn how to do that? <laughs> like, I've never seen you roll a line before like that. Why do you do it? I mean, YouTube video. YouTube told him. <laughs> <laughs> I told you everything. That's how I learned. YouTube? Yeah. Like a week ago. <laughs> All right, but I'll tell jokes, cook, how to build a food truck in a week. Still building it, it's a long week. <laughs> Probably go one more. So what was Bobby Flay like? He was humbled towards the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, right. He no, it was good. It was yeah. a good battle. I mean, going up to him, I didn't care who was next to me. Because yeah. at the end of the day, and, and every other competitor will say it, it's you versus the basket. So I got myself into that zone where it didn't matter. And I. I ran around, grabbed everything, measured everything into the vessel I was using instead of taking extra steps, mm -hmm. which you waste a lot of time if you keep running back and forth. Yeah. You know, it's like every time you go to the pantry, you lose two minutes. And if you have 20 minutes to do it, you, you know, and then you have to plate for four minutes. <clears throat> so it's a 20 minute run. You cook in 10 minutes and pulling magic out of the air. You know? Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was good. It was a good, he was a good competitor, but... I was ready for the game. Were you always this confident, even as like a, in your teens and little kid? I mean, it's been helpful, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it's more. Keeps your focus. Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta go. I got. I'm fine. You cut yourself. I nicked it. Um, if you cut yourself, you get off the job. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Just one smaller. It doesn't be like larger. Usually with the red onions, I pickle them, or I throw. It's called macerate, where instead of a natural pickle, you cook. The acid that goes into it, that's right, you just marinate with the citrus, sugar, salt, pepper, and whatever uh, flavor profile you're trying to get into that. That looks like How long do you marinate soup. for? Could be an hour. Could be. You'll start to see the translucent. It like turns from a red onion to it turns purple. Oh. It takes on the color. And that's when you pull oh, it. Wow. And then it's like that sweet, like the perfect taco has that little bit of pickle red onion in it or oh. something like that. That throws that sweetness in there to cut through everything out—the acid, the the slant, the freshness of the cilantro, the pungentness of whatever else they're throwing at you. Well, it's not an exact science, would that be fair to say? Or uh, there isn't. It's not. It all depends how you you look. At it, you know, if you, if you build that perfect flavor, you, there's a science behind it. Whether it's learned or it's just more of a freestyle. So when you notice the color, yeah. that's when it when it <laughs> you changes. See, yeah, you'll that's see it. it. That's yep. it. No and what, the color and the flavor. The you temperature could, and the conditions. Yeah, you can marinate it or macerate it without seasoning it. Uh -huh. You just put it in vinegar, and it'll, it'll bloom by the way because the oils take on that vinegar. Titration. Yep. What is it called? Titration. Oh. But then, then you add the sugar and then the salt. Yeah. So then it's like that that perfect balance there. Huh. You know, like those people aren't used to an onion that's the sweet pH. and salty. So you're, yeah, you're it's doing, like that perfect balance on it. Exactly. Okay. Oh. Zach, where'd you find this recipe? Did you make it up yourself? Did you find it somewhere? Did you get inspired oh, somehow? I found it on Instagram. It said we wanted some air. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we grow it at Magical Moon. I love it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's so much cilantro. So if you need cilantro, you go to Magical Moon. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Whether wow. it's supposed to be there or not, I put it there. I replace it with, instead of basil, I put cilantro. Oh. Just be nice. Just, just people need to taste more cilantro in there. <laughs> in their life than basil. All right, do you want to go with that? Or go with there. Yeah. And then we take it out, pull it 
over. We gotta throw this in there. Boom. All right. This is where we're gonna get a little bit of olive oil in there, the salt and pepper, and then we see what we need as far as more seasoning. So right before we start seasoning this, we're gonna drop the steak on. So we'll be bringing that. That'll come to a, we'll marinate that. Push it off the side. Drop the steak. Then come back to the guacamole. Season the rice, and they should come together. Yeah. Right? Wow. The perfect dance. Amazing. What was the marinade again? Carne asada. It's carne asada. Carne asada. Asada. So it's a couple limes, a lemon, like half an orange, and then cumin, um, chili powder, cayenne, salt, pepper, cumin. I think that's it. I forget. Yeah. No, what about the list? Let it all off. I know, I don't know how you remember it. What about that marinade did you like? Like what made you go towards that style? The recipe looked good, I don't know. What made it look good? The video. The video? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. The other day. It's whole new world. That's all. Awesome. Alright. So we're going to use, let's go with this guy right here. That was great. All right. So mix that up a little bit. Don't go too crazy that we're flipping it everywhere. We're going to hit a little olive oil. All right. Where's the salt at? We're going to some salt in there. Your pepper or so when you're far left. I know. There you go. No, you, don't, you don't need to turn it. Watch this. That's right. You turn, you turn the bowl. So you're going you're gonna to be going like this. Turn to it just kind of all the time, right? And then in your left hand, you're going to pull to the middle. Drop. Turn. Yeah. Right. I'm saying you go into the bottom. You kind of like. No, I know, but you know. It was fun. It was good. 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 It was and they think you get like, oh yeah, he looks drunk. We're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 like five days later. This is where we didn't really get anything. <laughs> so, a right, little bit of salt. A little taste. Of, like I said, you season first, then you do a second season. Pepper behind you. Yep, there. right behind you. Throwing limes at the dog. Thank you. Don't be shy. Get in there. Yeah. That, Don't be afraid of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta hit him with jalapenos later anyway. So. <laughs> Black pepper doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> like it's spicy, but yeah, it's black pepper. And the Duxbury Fire Department likes us, right? Yes. Yeah. Do they like to golf? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> what kind of cut is that? Wait until Jeff comes back. Yep. What kind of cut of meat was that? Uh, Inside here today. Okay. Where, where does that come from? Like on the, the animals? Yeah, the ribs, I think. Yeah? Yeah, lower. Oh, yeah? So it's like, like, it's like a trim up right here. Uh, once again, this is me, Dan. And we're here with Donna. Hello. So, now tell us, you got a form. Why don't we just, uh, first of all, for those who are just joining us now, this is Donna Green. Tell us a little bit about your group and what you do. So, at the Magical Moon Farm, we have um, children with cancer and other life-threatening conditions that need some place to go that will um, empower them, nurture them, make them feel safe. Now, how did this all get started? How, how did this, your foundation come to be? Uh, it was 26 years ago when I felt that there was really nothing around that children with cancer could um, you know, they, they weren't getting the empowerment, the help that they needed uh, outside of just treatments. There was nothing between, you know, six-month appointments for CAT scans or MRIs, and uh, it, it was very necessary. So basically, this is, it's a, as, as some people have I've heard to say, it's a day of fun for kids who are just going through a lot. Would that be a fair way to put it? Mm. Yes and no. We do a lot of uh, enrichment programs. We have the children doing things with uh, uh, similar to today. They're they're cooking and they're learning how to eat healthy foods. And uh, a lot of times they'll work in the garden and and uh, be with other children their own age and other ages that you know they don't normally. A lot of them don't have friends, so they're 
there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, which empowers them, makes them feel strong. And on October 3rd, we okay. have a Harvest Moon Festival, and it's going to be a, a really nice day with five musical groups, and uh, we have a nighting ceremony for all the children, and we are going to have a trick-or-treating, a masquerade fairy tale adventure for children to go trick-or-treating safely at the farm. Now, when we say this is going to be a knighting ceremony, this is legit knighting. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. They get real swords, they get on the medallion of courage, and a lot of them take on a mission to change the world in honor of what they're going through. Now, if um, i got to ask you too, because of course COVID's been impacting everything. How's that impacted your Um It's been pretty tough. Just. Um, having the farm stick around because we've lost all our funding and uh, we were not eligible for grants and loans that the government offered because we have no cash flow. We are all volunteers, including myself, and, and so we weren't eligible for any money to help us sustain. It usually takes about $11,000 a month to keep the farm going and nothing is coming in. Except I shouldn't say that because a lot of our community has learned it about what we're going through and have been very supportive and kind. Stephen Co. did uh, a really nice uh, job of making people aware of, of us and it's uh, been very much appreciated. So now, if people wanted to donate to uh, the farm and the foundation, how could they do that? Uh, they could call 800-840-0205 and speak to one of the volunteers in our office, or they could go on the GoFundMe. I I use magical. Uh, I use uh, Facebook as my uh, my office uh, to get the word out. So there's a GoFundMe on that, or they could just um, go online to magicalmoon.org and they could go to our support page. All right, and that's uh, once again that website. Uh, www.magicalmoon.org. Thank you so much. And now we're going to take you back to some cooking. So basically, what we learned: you go to a restaurant, you don't like the food, you take the plate. Right. You got to keep mashing up a little bit. Right. So we're going to head with cheese and put salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and a little more lime. You said you like cilantro, right? Throw a little bit of cilantro in there. Uh, what's that style? Shut off. Did you know how to do that before, Zachary? No. You're taking the tongs and you're reaming the lime or the citrus. Just so like they sell reamers at the store. You know, all so Zach, you're getting taught by the Heisman yes. Trophy winner. That's right, right? Color your Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> you need a new goat in Boston, right? Exactly. I gotta take I gotta create my own dynasty. That's all we needed. We needed it. It's funny when I talk trash, I just humor myself anyways. Yeah. <laughs> You just get into baking, every, every good chef should know some couple desserts, and you know when you're folding. It's better than the bomb jam. Right? You'll probably use all the seasonings, you don't screw it in as is. Some places have the taste of meals in the See, I like the way I like it. You see the current the grains. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like Ro, Rahoa. So oh, yeah, Roa. Oh, Spanish. Go Spanish. Yeah, cool. American. Yeah. You go red. You go red on this. You go white on this. I wouldn't go through yeah. We bring people to another level. Oh, yeah. we try, I mean, we try to. Because rice is butter. Yeah, yeah. This is just tense. All right, so we pull that in. We're going to do some salt in there, pepper. We're going to do some cilantro. A little bit of lemon. Just to add that another acid in there. So we get on the coast, you get fresh fish. I do. We get a lot of fish. So you must have choices all over every night. Yes. I, I mean, I try to. I mean, in Malibu, I know they have the But I stick to the and then all what's available right now. Is, I can't get the striper. It's, it's, it's kind of easy. It is. It's available, but if they're not catching it, I'm not serving it. Oh, okay. You know? Impossible. It's like yep. point dude on air. But I do, uh, do a lot of oysters, a lot of lobsters because they're coming out of our bay right here. You know, yeah. Duxbury, yeah. like the whole coast. Any dogfish? What's that? Do you do anything with dogfish? Uh, a little bit. Not because I would. I like dogfish, but the average public doesn't do it like dogfish. So it's like you got to play into that card a little bit until they trust you. And then you can kind of stare them into the. Or you just change the name. Right? So like, I don't like dog. Let's like, right, not tie like that. But. <laughs> well, relax. <laughs> Don't believe we read the papers. More cilantro? Yeah. yeah. We need rum, right? <laughs> it's fresh. Yep. It's a freshie. You're not going to question the next thing, the guy rocking our tacos, are you? How about you? Get in the back of the line. You get the vegan burger. <laughs> right? Put in there. Right? So, all right, instead of like attacking the rice, roll it. You know, think like you try it, you're gonna go eat it. All right, so think of the scoop. Look at that, perfect. Love and affection. Love and affection. What spice is Don't beat the rice. Oh, cilantro. I thought it was cilantro. Yeah. Steven's got some the cilantro thing. Today we do. Tomorrow might be parsley or basil. Tarragon. Well, it seems like a lot of your, there's a lot of improvisation, or yeah. at least some improvisation. We have to. So, think about we have a restaurant with 200 people in it, right? And you have 75 things on your menu. You gotta make it happen. Fast, and you can rob if something doesn't go right, you turn. If you're too busy, you know, something burns. That guy's slow. It's, everything's improv. It's the dance. David, I think there are a lot of holes in that story. <laughs> you have a little grater? Yeah. I saw some marks. Oh, Detective Shepard. Right? <laughs> Anybody with a knife in his hand mm -hmm. is a detective. That's true. <laughs> All right, you want to grate up some cheese? Uh, right there? Yeah. Like the spine or just normal? Uh, go on this side. Just watch out. You ever hit your hand on gradual and you know not to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> I've done it like four times. I didn't like it the first time. Yeah, sure. I was lucky enough to text a nail, though. That was a good one. A whole nail? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Not the whole, like half, but yeah. down it. Oh, Ooh, that one's going to hurt tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, that hurts. Then you try and learn how to grate the other way. <laughs> That's why you're ambidextrous. Yeah, because I had to. Yeah. Forced. <laughs> Don't ever touch one of those, what's the other, uh, the fine slicing um, mandolins. Oh, I know oh, mandolin boy. well. You respect mandolin when you cut yourself with a mandolin. <laughs> now you're flipping those upside down to? Just to even, even rest on it. Okay. Some, and uh, distribute the moisture? Yep. <clears throat> what's your position on rest time? Depends on if you have time to rest it. <laughs> I love rest. If you have all the time in the world, yeah, what, what's your what do you like? Before it gets warm, I mean before it gets cold. Okay. You know, enough but time for it to have moisture. To it, like full stuff. moisture. Yes, that dish. Yeah. So what's the deal with the Marshfield Country Club? Is it private or can you go in there? You work at the press. Like what's going on? Are you the president? Well, is this live? Is this live? Is this thing on? Is this live? Is this live? It's uh, it's private. It's, well, it's awesome. Okay. It's, it's, it's a fun club. Okay. Definitely a fun club. All right. Just you know. checking. Yeah. Just want to know if we could come over and get a meal. All right? right? I, I, don't oh. even, I don't even get to eat there. All That's right. Good. <laughs> uh, I'm working on maybe like a little like chef day or something like that. Just to bring awareness of the. Cool. But I don't want to take away from what they have as their club. How long have you know, been working there? there? What time is it? Like, <laughs> uh, since actually the week before COVID hit. They oh, yeah? In the country. Yep. 
Where were you um, before that? Um, private chef. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, who? Can't say. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Just, Some patriots. Patriots. Just, oh, just cool. the yeah. famous people. Yeah. 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 Right. Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. She's been at the Hillary parties. Clinton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of different people. That's cool. I just like to cook. How do they get in touch with you? How would those people end up hearing of you and get in touch with you? Police reports and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has everywhere. He has <laughs> it's it's a form of marketing. <laughs> See you in the post office. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. You're in the... <laughs> yep, I'm sticking my own up there. Um, just, just hustling. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's great. Has social media helped with that too, would you say? Um, it did, but I, I kind of went on to the anti-social media campaign, in a way, just to see where, gr you know, grassroots goes. All right, all right, we're going to throw these on, and then let's get ready to rock and roll. And nice. Do it, Kahi. Nice, and... Actually, I'll wait a second. Let me slice the steak. Do you want to get a little bowl for this? Just just to see him in his reactions. Judge. He's good right. people. So you're going against the grain. See how the grain's going this He's way? See the lines? Right. You want to go here. And on top, you want to go nice and thin. Alright? So I'm going to no, like soft bowl and pull back. So I'll go up and keep it nice and thin, right? Yeah. Right. More flavor to oh, this way. Huh? More flavor to this way. So, for, so soft forward yeah. and then it's come back. This is a beast. You're respecting the meat process of it. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, Always take your stuff off of there so it doesn't get that big. So forward and come back. Ooh, look at the technique. Zach, you're getting it. That's awesome. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, He's really getting to the meat of it. Thumbs out of the way, too. Yeah, I'm like, what do you say about that? I don't know. Very good. Like, oh, nice. Nice. Everybody's getting punishment. <laughs> look at this. Restaurant land's always punishment. Very nice. Yes. Oh, oh, remember especially that. on Saturday night. Do you want a tissue? Do you need a tissue or something? Yeah. No. Right. So, what did you mean? <clears throat> that meat looks so good. Okay. It's good at resting. Actually, I'm trying one. Yeah. Jim? Yeah. Thank you. How was that? Probably needs a little surface salt, but it's good oh, as is. It, it was good. It was great, yeah. Thank you. Nice. Nice. So this one you're in, you're in the lines and small, so you just go here, that way, right? So you don't even have to cut it stuck on it. Yeah, right there. Real. 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 Look at that thumbs, Zach. Real steak. Steak house? Holy. Yeah. What? Now do they all eat yeah, like Tom Brady? Just yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah. One of his daughters. Is that like a Bobby Clay is? Yeah. 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 Have you ever met Bobby Flay? That's the guy that lost week oh, one. That's the guy who got lit up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, after you cut the steak, you always do what's called surface yeah, so she had been working So, why? Because you don't see the inside in the beginning, right? The inside needs a little oh, bit of oh. so you need to seal it. So, the, the salt flavor of the rub and everything's good on it, but it needs after. salt. Wow. I'm not saying anything from it. It's just like it, any, any steak always costs for salt. It's I've never not, been doing it. It's just meat. The meat, the meat is plain in general. I mean, like ribeye has a lot of good flavors and stuff. But yeah, and the skirt tastes great. But with like an acid, which is here, you know, you know that kind of builds well, that, that perfect goes, flavor. That's like a oh, huh. it's going to get out. So, what are the, uh, Steve, what are the tattoos on your right arm mean? They're fake. This kid's putting them in. Right? It's a sharpie. We get bored. Yeah. <laughs> for people to come in. What do they say? This is uh, create like God. Do you mean like a king work like a slave? Wait, say that again. Create like God. Yeah. Create like God. Create, create like. Sorry. Create yeah. like. Create like God. Do you like a king? Work like a slave. Huh? So create like God. So I'll probably get hate mail today. Like because of <laughs> create like God. Like God. Like God. Yep. Yeah. Do you mean like a king? Work like a slave. Yeah. Not you. Yeah. It's like some of the hustles. Yeah. This is cook of fire. Create with passion while you dance a samba. So this is like the perfect energy field machine of like a restaurant just cranking along. Everything's perfect. You yeah. know it's chaos? Yeah. It's, it's controlled. It's and no one knows yeah. it's, it's a dance. It's, it's a wonderful fashion. dance. Yeah. Yeah. So we rock those mentalities all the time. It's, 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 it's fire. Let's, let's go get a beer. See your Irish. Yeah, I asked him that. What is co? I'm a hybrid. We all are, but what's co? Where does it come from? French, Irish, English, yeah. Dutch, Native American, 
Also, the meal is, it appears the meal is just about Please. ready. Oh, yeah. Let's we'll see how it's set up here. Right. Over there. That's the cheese, the meat, and the tortillas. And then the plates right here. That would make sense, right? All right. So this yeah, is Shea Cedroni. Okay. okay. So here's everybody enjoying their, their WATD mm -hmm. steak taco night with awesome. um, <clears throat> Magic Moon Foundation. Mm -hmm. What else, Jim? Well, I would say, first of all, the food is muy delicioso. Muy bien. Excelente. Uh, now, can we have some, some French in there, too? C'est délicieux. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. In two languages, in two lang actually three languages, yeah. we told you it's awesome. That's all yeah. you need to know, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's about uh, all we got. Head, head down to uh, Magic Moon. Uh, check their website out. And um, and, and donate. MagicMoonFoundation.org. Okay. Magical. Magical. Oh, I always say magic. MagicalMoonFoundation.org. Magic will bring you to Alaska somewhere. Oh, wow. on the website? <laughs> yeah. So it's MagicalMoonFoundation.org. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so yeah. much. And, uh, thanks, yeah. thanks, Steph, uh, uh, Chef Stephen Coe, and Zachary All right. for pulling this off. What do you have to say, Zachary? How'd you think it went tonight? Great. Look up at me. Say thank you for coming, maybe, or thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Show your who else you want to thank? <laughs> Show all your fingers. Go like this. All right. Nothing got cut. Thank you. Show my fingers. <laughs> so what's up? Say something better. What do you got? Anything good? No. All right. Well, this is to all our fans there on WATD. Right. Uh, Rand. This is. A, uh, what do you have to say, Chef Stephen uh, Cole? Thank you. This is awesome. It's a good opportunity. It's great people I met tonight, and the sponsor a good cause, man. Yeah. That's a good farm. Bravo! Yeah. 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 Bravo. Good stuff. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Head over to their uh, website themagicalmoonfoundation.org and go check them out there on Summer Street in Marshfield. Thanks for joining us. Socially distance. Yes, yes, that as well. Bye-bye.